Hi friends, welcome to classes by Lab Doctor. I am Dr. Divya and in today's class let us see about the germ cells in the semen sample. The WHO has mentioned about the round cells in the semen sample. When we see a semen sample, we can easily identify the spermatocytes because they have a head, they have a tail and they are moving. So, uh, we can identify them. But there are certain cells in the background which become difficult to identify. Those are put under the general category of round cells. Now, those round cells could be immature germ cells or they could be WBCs, they could be RBCs, they could be some uh, yeast, they could be trichomonas, parasites sites etc. So, uh, such cells are classified as round cells and if the concentration of the round cells becomes more than 1 into 10 raised to 6 per ml, that is what is called as abnormal. So, in this slide, you can see few germ cells here. So, these are the round cells. They have a condensed nucleus. Usually, around 5 to 6 immature uh, cells are taken as normal per hyper field. So, you know that in the spermatocytes, genesis uh, how the sperms are formed so the spermatogonium becomes the primary spermatocyte then they become the secondary spermatocyte by meiosis and then the second round of meiosis happens and the secondary spermatocytes becomes the round spermatid and then forms the spermatozoa so this process is called as spermatogenesis so this whole process happens in the testis and this takes around 72 to 75 days so, uh, in some of the slides of semen analysis, we can see such immature germ cells also. So, these germ cells are the ones which are predominantly seen when we see the round cells. Majority, around 84% of the non-spermatozoan cells would be the germ cells. So, when we see round cells in the background, majority of the immature uh, cells are the immature cells. 84% of these cells are the immature cells. Baki ke jo 13-15 percent rehenge wo usually WBCs uh, rehta hai. Ye tentatively ek uh, average calculation rehta hai. So these are the pus cells which are appearing as round cells again in the background. They are uh, around 5 to 6 per uh, hyper field. They are also taken as normal. But what happens is sometimes it becomes difficult to identify them correctly whether this could be germ cells or this could be the WBC cells. See this this is a test is where you can see the various levels of uh, differentiations of the spermatogonia, spermatids and the spermatocytes. Though no normal level have been officially uh, defined for the reference, it is suggested that this emergence of these round cells, particularly the germ cells, may be uh, because of this for, uh, failed spermiogenic completion or act regeneration of the epithelium after transient attack of certain uh, infections like influenza etc. Agar yaha pe teek se wo uh, generate nahi ho rahe ya to teek se mature nahi ho rahe ya to zyada hi generate ho rahe because of irritation of this epithelium etc. They all can produce this kind of a germ cells in the sample. See if there is a maturation arrest then also these germ cells can appear in the a sample. Whenever there are a uh, uh, high number of these immature cells, sometimes it is seen in men with prolonged frequent ejaculation, which could be due to severe masturbation, etc. So, uh, this could be few of the reasons why these germ cells can appear. One is there could be a uh, transient attack of a viral fever, a influenza, flu-like thing and there could be a transient irritation. That's why there might be increased production or that could be a uh, mature arrest or there could be a, a increased uh, you know prolonged frequent ejaculations which could lead to such kind of germ cells in the semen sample. So, these are the causes of germ cells in the salmon. One could be the varicocele or if there is any kind of a, a chemotherapy or cytotoxic treatment etc. Cryptorchidism wherein the testes are not developed or they are hidden. There is a maturation arrest. There could be a prolonged frequent ejaculation. They are, uh, there is an, uh, drug abuse. There is increased smoking, increased alcohol consumption. There has been a trauma there. All this can lead 
to increase germ cells in the semen. So these are the spermatocytes. What you can see here, they have a single nucleus. They have not yet divided here. Here you can see the spermatids. They have a little dense uh, chromatin here, and uh, they have no granules in the cytoplasm. Here you can see a primary spermatocyte. You can see the abundant cytoplasm and the large nucleus. Here you can see a spermatid which is having a condensed uh, nuclei and uh, abundant cytoplasm with no cytoplasmic granules. Here you can see a spermatogonium. Here, this is a spermatogonium. This B, C, D are the spermatids which you can see here. This is the double head uh, of the sperms, and this is one which is having a coiled tail spermatozoa. So this is a Romanowski stain uh, where you can see that this is a neutrophil here, and you can see that this would be a spermatid. This could be a possible uh, lymphocyte here, which you can see here at B1. And here you can see the large phagocytic uh, macrophage, which has engulfed certain material within it. And uh, here you can see three neutrophils in this uh, here. You can see the dividing uh, spermatocyte here. And uh, in this, you can see that this is a lymphocyte, and this could be possibly a spermatid. Usually, the germ cells they have a pinkish uh, kind of a you know cytoplasm. If you compare that with the neutrophil, they have have more of a bluish tinge when we do a Romanowski stain and even the nuclear features also uh, help us to identify or differentiate them here you can see the papanicolo stain and uh, here you can see this is a neutrophil here these are the two small neutrophils this is a spermatid usually with a pinkish uh, kind of a cytoplasm this looks more like a monocyte or a degenerated monocyte here this also similarly looks like a degenerated monocyte and uh, this also a degenerated monocyte here and this is a neutrophil here this one is the cytoplasmic remnant here and here you can see the pinkish cytoplasm, a cytoplasmic remnant. This is a spermatocyte and uh, this one is also a spermatid. Here you can see this. So, uh, usually uh, it uh, we can uh, classify them mostly like around cells only. But when we actually want to classify, there are few features that I have told you that the, if the cytoplasm is little bit uh, pinkish tinge, mostly suggests that it could be a germ cells. Whereas in case of the W B cells, it is usually the bluish cytoplasm, the nucleus which is having the chromatin which is attached by thin strands, etc., and the multilobated nuclei, etc., helps us to identify, like in peroxidase stain, etc., which is mostly like the peroxidase stain, etc., which is, helps us to identify the neutrophils correctly. These uh, germ cells, uh, I have told you that they are also grouped under the category of round cells, and anything which is less than 1 into 10 raised to 6 per ml is normal. Suppose if the uh, concentration of these round cells exceeds 1 into 10 raised to 6 per ml, then we will have to mention a note and uh, that becomes abnormal. And immature uh, germ cells also can be one of the reasons for uh, round cells. So, immature germ cells can come in many cases when I have told you there is an irritation of the testicular epithelium, there is some kind of an infection, there is some kind of a trauma or there is hyper uh, regeneration of the epithelium or there is a maturation arrest or there is frequent uh, ejaculations or there is excessive masturbations etc. When these epithelium can be stimulated and there can be these immature cells which can come and obviously certain cases like varicoceles, uh, alcohol, drug abuse, smoking, they can also produce such a kind of immature cells in the uh, salmon. So, sometimes it is difficult. We might have to depend upon special stains, etc. Uh, but yes, we have to try to classify them as immature cells as well as the WBC cells. Many a times we see immature cells and we classify them wrongly as pus cells. But majority of the time, they, those would be just the immature germ cells. So, no matter how much of antibiotics you give, uh, if you have wrongly uh, labeled them as pus cells, they are not going to disappear. So, uh, it becomes important for us to uh, correlate clinically with the patient's findings, with the semen analysis report, other findings and then come to a diagnosis.
Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.